Glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. We just want to take the time to just usher in the very presence of God just to worship him because he deserves all of our worship. He deserves all of our praise. He is God and he is God alone. Glory to God. We worship him. We worship him. We worship him. We worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah is the highest and we give God the highest praise because he is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is the great I am. Glory to God. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. He is the first and the last. Glory to God. He is our everlasting father. He Glory to God. We just glory and honor and praise unto his name. Glory to God. Oh, how excellent is his name in all the earth. He is worthy to be worshipped. He is worthy, glory to God, to be praised. He is worthy, glory to God, to be honored. Hallelujah. We do honor and magnify his holy and his righteous name. We exhort his name on earth, glory to God. We bow down in his very presence and we worship him. Hallelujah. We worship the almighty God, the all-powerful God. Glory to God. He is good and his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. He has no respect of persons. He loves us all equally. Glory to God. Oh, glory God, we just want you to know today, God, and every day how much we appreciate every single thing, God, that you have done to, for us, Lord God. We appreciate, Lord God, your sacrifice on the cross, Lord God. We appreciate, Almighty God, you taking our sin, oh God, upon you who knew no sin. Glory to God. Lord God, we appreciate your your un, your love, you loving us, Father God, unconditionally in the mighty name of Jesus, God. You and you alone have the power to look beyond all of our faults, oh God, and you see our needs, God. You are mighty, Lord God. You are just amazing, Lord God. You are in control of this entire universe, glory to God. No one can ever take your place, glory to God. You are El Shaddai. You are the God that is more than the now, hallelujah, you have the power, almighty God, to do anything that you desire to do. You are our shepherd, Lord God, and we don't have to want for anything. You supply all of our needs, oh God, according to your riches and glory. You are an awesome God. You are a mighty God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We want to thank you for giving us so many examples in your word to follow, Lord God. You are so grateful but, Father God, we are so grateful, Lord God, for your peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord God. We are so grateful for your joy, glory to God. Lord, we thank you so much for the Holy Spirit that teaches us all things, oh God, to enjoy. You are our joy, oh God, and we will always worship you, oh God. You are the only one, the one and only God, hallelujah who always have your arms wrapped around us, God. You protect us, Father God, from any harm and shame and any harm, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. You never leave us nor forsake us, Lord God. We will always look to the hills, O oh God, for which cometh our help, and we know, God, that our help comes only from you. We are so grateful, Lord God to learn how to truly trust in you, Lord God, how to truly cast all of our cares over to you, Lord God, because we know, Almighty God, that you care for us. Hallelujah. We will never understand, oh God, how you can love us, oh Lord God, but we are grateful to know that you cover us in everything, God. You are our shelter from the rain, Lord God. You are there, Lord God, in the wee hours of the night, God, when we cannot sleep, Lord God, because we are just so weary, God. We are just so stressed out, Lord God, and we just don't know what to do, Lord God. But you are right there waiting for us just to call on your name, God. You are right there waiting for us to invite you, you into our lives, Lord God, just to tell you, oh God, all about our troubles, Lord God. Even though, God, you already know everything, God, you just want a desire for us just to talk to you, glory to God. You are just that kind of friend, Lord God. And we will always, Father God, worship you. You are always right there for us, God. But you said that you will never leave us, no, but you for us, Lord God. And when we need someone to talk to, Lord God, you are always available, Lord God, because you neither slumber nor sleep. You watch over us, God, as we are resting throughout the night. Glory be to God. You bear all of our burdens. Hallelujah. You are our joy, Lord God. 
And because of you, Lord God, we can smile through the stormy times in our lives, God. We can smile through trials and temptations in our lives, God. We can smile, Lord God, when the devil tries to come up and sift us like we, God. We know, God, that you are right there with us, Lord God, and that you will see us through everything, Lord God. When we are weak and when we are tired and we are worn out, God, you are our strength, glory to God. Thank you, Almighty God, for your love. Thank you, Almighty God, for your grace and your mercy, glory to God. We rejoice, oh God, because we know, Lord God, that we can, you have made us glad, God. We rejoice, Almighty God, because you are our Savior, Lord God. We rejoice, Almighty God, because you have given us eternal life, God. You, Almighty God, has set us free. Hallelujah. We are free to worship you, Lord God. We are free to praise your name, O oh God. We are free to worship and witness to others about your goodness, Lord God. We are free, Father God, from spiritual death. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Lord God. We cannot thank you enough. We had a thousand tongues in our mouth, Lord God. We could never, ever thank you enough. Glory to God. We can't help but praise your name, God. We can't help but shout for your God because you are so good. We are blessed. And we know, God, that we are highly favored in you, Lord God. You are our joy, God. We bless you and we praise your name. And it's in Jesus' name, glory to God, that we pray and that we say amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. We are so blessed, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. God is so good to us. Oh, God, we just want to take the time just to worship him today, God. We just want to take the time just to praise your name today, God. You are so good to us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. He is better to us, glory to God, than we are to ourselves. Glory to God. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Who let me just calm down for a minute. Glory to God. God is so good. If I could just give you share my testimony today, which I can't right now, but God has been so good to me and my family, and I just want to thank him, glory to God. So this is Midday Glory, and we just welcome you, glory to God. I am Reverend Gwendolyn Dixon, and I will be your host for the next 20 minutes of So Glory to God. We thank you so, so much for joining us today, for supporting this ministry, glory to God. We don't take it lightly. We thank God for the opportunity to be on this this phone line every Wednesday at 1 o'clock shop. We thank you that you are live with us. We got to even thank the ones that's going to use our callback number later on to listen to the broadcast. We are so overjoyed to know that we have listeners right here in the United States of America, but we also have listeners in other countries. Glory to God. We are so grateful to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then I'm still uh, just just uh, uh, in a, in a, in a, how do you know what to say from last week when the Lord gave us this subject, the joy of the Lord, glory to God. So we're going to do a very quick review from last week to bring you up in case you weren't on here with us last week. And then we're going to just go into today, glory to God. So we said to you on last week that it is so awesome to get to that point in our relationship with Christ to truly know that he is our joy, glory to God. And, you know, we heard uh, as we grew up and as children or as we got into adults, we heard people talking about the joy of the Lord, but we really didn't know it. We really didn't understand what that really meant. But we And we thought probably that it was just, they were just talking about happy, and that's what we, that's what we thought that joy was, just being happy. But as we grew spiritually in the Lord, allowing the Holy Spirit to be activated in our lives and allowing the Holy Spirit to operate in our lives, we discovered that it's not a joy of happiness, but it's joy unspeakable, not only that, and that, that joy unspeakable that only comes from Almighty God. So we said on last week that it's nothing that we can actually articulate in words. It's from the inside. It's from the Holy Spirit, Lord God, and working in our lives, bringing about a mighty change as we yield ourselves to the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We serve a faithful God that can do the impossible, glory to God. And, we, and as we release everything to him, we receive his power, glory to God. We receive his authority that he has given unto every last one of us that gives ourselves to him. We get that joy that's unspeakable from God Almighty, glory to God. You know, we can exercise the power that God has given us and feel his joy all over us, just like we're feeling it right now, glory to God. But we exercise his word 
of joy in our life. It helps us as believers in Christ to be able to go through difficult seasons of our life, but we still have that joy in our hearts. The word reminds us of how we can be so calm and happy to faith in Christ Jesus, even when we are going through glory to God. Hallelujah. You see, joy is rooted in, in who God really is. It's not you know, based on circumstances. It's not based on worldly possessions or how many accomplishments we've made in our lives. And it's not even based on special people in our lives like our spouse or our children or grandchildren, our parents. They are blessings that make us happy and they fuel joyfulness. But the Bible teaches us that the source of all joy is Jesus' glory to God. Hallelujah. God's plan from the very beginning, the word made flesh to dwell among us, it's rock solid. And according to it, it, it allowing us to navigate a difficult situation, the absence of happiness, proud of sustaining in his joy, glory to God. The scripture encourages us to rejoice in the blessings of our life and give glory to God in all things. Romans fifteen thirteen says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, ye may abound in hope. Glory to God. True joy can be obtained in the heartfelt gratitude of our God's love, of our God's mercy and his grace. Glory to God. So when we take the time to learn what the Bible says about joy and we apply it to our lives, we experience that joy. Glory to God. That's unspeakable. Glory to God. So last week we elaborated on James chapter 1, verses 2 through 5, and James was straightforward about understanding about this joy and allowing us to be to to um to be used by the glory of God. And we encourage you that if you did not hear the message last week, to go back and to listen to how James instructed us about joy. So um, James 1, 2, and 4 says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And then we word, we read um, verse 5 on last week, as, uh, as well as talking about the wisdom from God. And verse 5 says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give to all men liberally, and the great is not, and it shall be given unto you. So glory to God, I, I just love getting into the word of God and just researching the word and getting deeper into the word and discovering more and more about God's word. So in looking at James 1, and as I read verses 2 through 4, and then I read, read verse 5, I asked myself, how does wisdom tie into joy? Glory to God. Well, it's important to seek wisdom before we ask God for anything, because if we don't have wisdom, we can fall for anything, glory to God. So when we open the first uh, pages of the Bible, we learn that God carved order, that God carved order out of chaos to create a space where life can flourish. And then as we keep on reading and we keep turning the chapters in the Bible, we're going to eventually reach the book of Proverbs where we meet wisdom. And they identify wisdom, they personalize it as a woman, as a female. So Proverbs 3.13 says, happy is a man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Then in Proverbs 8, 22 through 30, we learn about wisdom was possessed from the very beginning. And in Proverbs 4, 6, and 7, it tells us not to forsake wisdom. You see, wisdom gives us the ability to discern inequalities and relationships. Wisdom gives us good common sense, glory to God. So spiritual wisdom isn't just knowing what's good for us, but it's about applying that knowledge in our everyday life. Wisdom is not the same as knowledge. So when we use wisdom about God's word and making our decisions that we will follow Christ no matter what happens, we can rejoice in the God of our salvation. We will be blessed. We will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises can continually be in our mouth. We will trust the Lord with all of our hearts, and we will not lean upon our own understanding. We will, we will experience, glory to God, that joy, that unspeakable glory to God. Hallelujah. God is so good to us. He gives us all things to enjoy, glory to God. We use and we exercise godly wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in everything that we do. The book of Proverbs is so full of wisdom. Everything we need is in the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to close there. I want you to stay tuned next week because God is going to elaborate even more to us. You see, I don't just speak. I, God teaches me so that I can minister to others. Glory to God. So I am so excited 
about how wisdom and joy link together. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's do our closing for glory to God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord God. We are so grateful to feel your presence with us on this day, Lord God, knowing that you are right here with us, Lord God. Thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. Spirit, Lord God, working on the inside, God, bringing about, working on the inside, coming, Father God, just bringing a change in our lives, Lord God, as we yield to you, Lord God, we thank you, Father God, for your word that has everything that we need, God. Thank you, Almighty God, for teaching us your ways and not our ways. Thank you, Almighty God, for teaching us to cast all of our cares over to you, Lord God. We are so grateful today, Lord God, to know that all power is in your hands. Hallelujah. You are the all-powerful, the almighty God, and you, almighty God, are our joy. Hallelujah. We continue, God, to pray without ceasing, Lord God. We pray for every listener, Lord God, that is on the line today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for those that will listen later on, God. We pray for every believer that we will desire, Lord God, desire, Lord God, to have that closer walk with you, that we will desire to have that intimacy with you, God, that personal relationship with you in the mighty name of Jesus, God. So in the wee hours of the night, God, when we wake up, God, there's a word, Father God, there's a scripture, Father God, that is in our minds, and we just can begin to, Father God, just to talk to you, Lord God. Lord God, we continue to pray for the sick, Lord God, that they will be healed, Lord God. We continue to pray for our seniors and nursing homes, God. We pray for those who have no family to visit them in those nursing homes, Lord God. We pray for caregivers, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray, Father God, for our seniors who are of age, Lord God. We pray, oh God, that caregivers are loving to them, Lord God, and not, Father God, taking advantage of them in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We pray every day, dearly, Lord God, for peace, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for our children, Lord God. We pray for our children at schools. We pray for the teachers and everyone, oh God, that work at all various schools all over this world, God. We pray for your shield of protection with our children, Lord God. We pray for the children that ride the school buses, God, that they will be safe in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We pray for the bus drivers, oh God. Lord God, we continue to pray for those who have suicidal tendencies, Lord God. We know, God, that our mind should be the mind of Christ, Lord God. We pray for the homeless, Lord God. We pray, oh God, for low-income families, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We know, and Father God, that we hear on the news and that prices are rising, Lord God. Things are, are going way beyond normal, Lord God. But still, God, we know that you are in control, Lord God. We know, God, that we can depend on you, God, because you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. We will not fear, oh God, because we know that you are with us, Lord God. We know, God, that you would always, Father God, have food on our table, clothes on our back, and shelter over our heads in the name of Jesus, God. You know and see all of our needs, glory to God. Lord God, we don't cease to pray for this world, God. We pray for those in government authorities, Lord God. We pray for the president and the vice president of this United States of America. We pray for their families, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray for all government government officials, Lord God, all government leaders associated with our president, Lord God. Lord God, we continue to pray against the enemy schemes, Lord God. We pray against a strife and envy and jealousy and hatred. We know these things, oh God, are not of you, Lord God. And we desire as believers in Christ to operate, Almighty God, in the fruit of the spirit of love and joy and peace, Lord God, and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness, Lord God, and gentleness and self-control in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We know, oh God, that these are the evidence of life that belongs to you, glory to God. Lord God, we will not feel against the circumstances of this world, glory to God. You are Jehovah Jireh. You provide everything that we need, God, and we put all of our trust in you, glory to God. It is in you that we live, God. It is in you that we have our beings. You are God all by yourself. Glory to God. You rule and you reign this entire universe. Hallelujah. No matter what the circumstances look like, God, you are always and will always be in control every day, God. You grace us with life, Lord God, and we rest in your arms, Lord God. You are our joy that's unspeakable, Lord God. And in the midst of a storm, God, it's you, Almighty God, that gives us peace, God. We bless your name today. We honor your name today. We love you, Almighty God. We continue to pray salvation for those who do not know you in their lives as their personal Savior, Lord God. 
We pray for spiritual wisdom daily to receive more understanding of your holy word, Lord God. We desire to have that deep relationship, Lord God, that we, Father God, can, can interpret your word, Lord God. Your word feeds our spiritual soul, Lord God. Your word guides and dictates and directs and instructs, Lord God. And your word even chastises us, glory to God. Lord God, we love and appreciate all your guidance towards us, Lord God. We know, God, that you have given us everything that pertains to life and godliness, Lord God, and we desire to walk in all of the benefits, God, that you have given us in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We love you, Lord God. We appreciate you, Lord God. And it's in Christ Jesus' name that we pray and that we say amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Stick with us this month on the joy of the Lord. Glory be to God. God bless you all richly. In Jesus' mighty name, we will see you and hear you next week. God bless you richly. Bye-bye.